Hi, this is Sue, the Soggy Stamper, with a Facebook Live on Friday afternoon. Fabulous Friday afternoon Facebook Live. And we'll be starting in just a few minutes. Give people a chance to get on. This is Sue, the Soggy Stamper. We'll be going live, or we'll be starting this presentation in just about one minute. Well, my watch says it is 3 o'clock, so let's get started. I am excited to bring to you another view of the, um, of the Fresh as a Daisy suite of products uh, that are in the new annual catalog. Last week, oh, well, first off, this is the Soggy Stamper. I'm Sue. Um, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and um, been doing this now for 22 years. And I, um, I absolutely love helping other people find their creativity, uh, teaching them how to make cards and things. So these are the two cards I made last week. Um, this is the um, stamp set that is called... Cheerful Daisies. Oh, here, put it this way. Cheerful daisies and the dies that go along with it. Today, I'm going to be using the designer series paper and the stamp set sending, which is this one. I'm going to be using the dies for the sending and then also um, love and big hugs and the die that cuts that out. So, and these, these are the dies that go along with it um, to make a background and for the sending. Let me show you. Here is the card. And so the word is in white and then the background is in the wild wheat, which is one of the new in colors um, for 2023-2025. And I'm struggling to find ways to use it because I think it's kind of a dull color in general. But with this designer series paper, I think it works very well. So I want to talk about the paper first. This is Fresh as a Daisy paper. This is the designer series paper that goes with the suite. This one has the different sizes of th things. You can cut them into different pieces which is kind of handy because you can, that is sized perfectly for a card front, as is this one and this one and this one. 
and I could have used it on this card, but I wanted a little more contrast. The back side of that is Miss um, Moody Mauve uh, in a paint um, dry brush type image. This one I love, the little yellow flowers along with the daisies. And I love green and beginning to really love yellow too. So this is what another the, the back side of this is a gray dry brush paint image. And then there are these another day other daisies. Uh, the background is the moody mauve and the leaves or that um, wild wheat. And then here's the one that I'm going to use today. It's got the um, perfect peacock, and it's got a little bit of tempting, the colors are Azure Afternoon, which is the blue, um, Boho Blue, Bubble Bath, Cajun Craze, Copper Clay, Crushed Curry, Early Espresso, Garden Green, Lemon Lolly, Moody Mauve, Wild Wheat, Pebbled Path, and Pretty Pe Peacock. So this is the Pretty Peacock with two different shades of it. And the background is the Copper Clay. And when you turn that over, you have this Pretty Peacock and a green dry brush stroke. And this one is a gorgeous one with daisies on the boho blue background. And here's the copper clay brush stroke. And finally is another pattern very similar to um, where is it? Very similar to this one, but it's a little bit smaller scale of flowers. And it's got the um, pebbled path gray background, whereas this one has a shade of the dust of wild wheat in the background. And the back side of this is the beautiful boho blue. And with designer series papers like that, <clears throat> all you need is a square of designer series paper and you have all your work done for you, pretty much. And that's what I'm going to show you with this card. I'm going to start with a card base out of the wild wheat. And I, I like to have my cards with the fold up at the top so that they stand really nicely. This is the 11 by four and a quarter and scored at five and a half. You could turn it sideways. That works fine too. Or you could have it eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. So this is the card base. And this is a piece of designer series paper and it's four by five and a quarter inches. And I was originally going to do it just like that, but then I got the brilliant idea of folding it up. I scored at one inch and I'm going to fold it up. You have to be careful with designer series paper, I went a little heavy with the scoring tool and it actually cracked a little bit, but that's okay. And I'm going to seal that with a little bit of stop and seal. And then I can put it on my card front. Like that. 
Okay, so then I've already done my die cutting. And in this case, you absolutely have to use the adhesive sheets before you die cut because putting little teeny tiny dots of um, liquid glue on this it would be really difficult. So this is the bold die. They cut out that, the background. And then the fine, the detailed die cuts out the word. And you notice, let's see, how can I show you? There is a teeny tiny dot for the eye. And I thought I had lost it because it was, I couldn't find it. But here it is still in the die. So I actually, actually did not lose it. And I'm really happy about that. Okay, so with the, with the adhesive sheets, all you have to do is just pull it off. like this, ta-da, and all your glue is on your, die, on your die cut. Now this is very easy to stretch and get out of shape, so you have to be kind of careful as you put it on and do a letter at a time. Get one put down and then move on to the next one and get it so that it's fairly even. The base of the end that looks good then just kind of lay it down as you go along And it does stick to your fingers, so you have to be careful when you peel it off that it doesn't. There. That was easier said than done. Okay. Or it was pretty easy. Now that I'm hoping I can peel off the paper of this. Oh, I just did. That's good. No. Oh, the whole thing came out. I'm getting the paper off the back of this little dot. It is going to be a challenge. Where did it go? There it is. Well, I'm hoping there's enough sticky around the edges. Whoops. I think at this point, the clay end will be very helpful. Except that it's stuck to the end of the clay. <coughs> so two take your picks might be in order. Not there. There we go. It's really small. But there. Ha! That worked better. And then I'm going to put it on the fold, like so. I had planned to put it up here. And then I thought about putting brass butterflies along here. But I like having it right there. I'm going to use some 
Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm getting really excited about May 2nd coming up because that's when we can order from the new annual catalog. As a demonstrator, we were allowed to pre-order some items, but not all of the items that are in the catalog. And there's, there's a stamp set that's called Hey Chuck. If you remember the Hey Chick um, stamps, there was a birthday chick and there was a Hey Chick stamp set. And now we have a male counterpart, Hey Chuck. And I can't wait to get it, it is so cute. Okay, then I stamped Love and Big Hugs, and I used the Pretty Peacock ink for that. And I cut it out using the smaller die which is designed for it. I contemplated making it shorter by cutting it that way and then cutting the other end off, but decided I really wanted to have the longer thing. I'm going to put that up with the smaller dimensionals. And if you were to become a demonstrator right away, I'd love to have you on my team if you've been thinking about it. There's all kinds of benefits that you get from it. Um, get the benefit of meeting a whole bunch of wonderful, um, supportive Stampin' Up! demonstrators. You get a chance to order for your starter kit is $99, and you get $125 worth of free product out of that. And you get... That it's your own business, so you can work it as much as you want or as little as you want. I put in um, probably three or four hours a week at the most because I have a part-time, half-time position <clears throat> at the church, so I don't have a whole lot of time to put in on it. But that's okay. I've been doing it for 25, uh, 22 years. Sometimes I've had a bigger business, and sometimes it's been just small like this. Um, and it's totally up to you. Stampin' Up! does reward people who are really working their business hard and have large sales and things like that, or have a large downline, and they get more reward. There are more rewards available to them, like uh, incentive trips, I can, I can work to earn one, but I don't put in that much time to do so. And that's okay with me, because I do it for the teaching and for the fun of it. And we get a discount. Depending on how much you sell, um, you can earn up to 25% discount on the products. And if you keep good records, you can also use it as a tax offset. It's, there's a whole variety of benefits. And if you're interested, give me an email me, sue at soggystamper.com, or you can go to my online store, creations by sue.stampinup.net, and click on the join button, and it'll give you all kinds of information. So I added the three brass butterflies, one big one and two small ones. They have been carried forward into the new catalog. Hallelujah! That really excites me because they are wonderful to pop on things like this. So that's what I have for you. This video, thank you for watching. This video will be up on my YouTube channel, The Soggy Stamper, this afternoon. And I would love for you to go and find the video and click on like and um, subscribe to my channel so that every time so if you miss a live presentation, you can see it on the, up there on the channel. I have 101 videos up there now, which is not a whole lot compared to other people, but it's still, it was, I enjoy doing it, and uh, there's a lot of information up there. If you have any questions, you
You can email me, sue at soggystamper.com. My blog is www.soggystamper.com. And my online store, in case you would like to get some of these products, is creationsbysue.stampinup.net. So thanks for watching. You have a wonderful rest of the weekend. And uh, we'll see you again next Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Bye-bye.